I'm uh, Trevor Zanto. My wife and I live here in uh, north central South Dakota. We are primarily a cattle operation. We're a pretty low rainfall area. That's generally our uh, biggest concern when it comes to uh, our operation here. We're in some pretty tough ground here as far as our soils. Not highly productive ground. Uh, kind of what led us more to uh, doing more cover crops. We find it to be a little uh, better for us, I guess, uh, as far as workload and, and profitability as well. A few years back, my, my dad decided it was time for him to retire. This operation has always had two you know, full-time people here, so we needed to make some changes. Uh, and didn't like what we were currently doing. We were currently uh, a cattle operation and, and corn on corn on our tillable ground. It was a tremendous amount of work. The uh, profitability just really wasn't there. Some years were better than others, obviously, but long term it wasn't, uh, it wasn't where we wanted to be. You could see our, our soils were getting worse. We had a lot more salty areas and we were making no progress on that. Talking with our NRCS agents and going to several of their meetings that were held in the area, we kind of seen the cover crop deal maybe was good for us. It also helped our, our uh, workload issues. We no longer spent all summer putting up feed to spend all winter feeding that feed. Cover crops allowed us to graze the cattle uh, more months of the year to where our feed needs were, were diminished and the workload dropped to just a fraction of what we were doing. We also need a lot less equipment to do that. It, it allowed a better quality of life for, for me and my family and as it turns out, it's a better quality of life for the soil. And in turn, really, it's better for the cows as well. They're far better off to be out there grazing. They're happier and so am I, I guess. We're very fortunate here. All of our ground is contiguous. So we're ideally suited to rotational grazing cattle. We do have quite a bit of uh, native rangeland, and then we use our tillable ground for grazing as well. Springtime this past year, we put in small grain oats to graze. Uh, we grazed that in June. And that this year especially really helped us because it, when it got really dry, we still had some, some good feed to keep the cattle on, and, and it also rested our native ground for an extended period of time. That made a big difference on the drought this year. Once we pulled them cattle off, normally we would have planted our, our winter grazing right away, but we were so dry this year that we ended up waiting until we got some rain. Um, and now we have that winter grazing going, and uh, this fall, after a, a killing frost, we'll go back to that. And that'll carry us most of the way through the winter, allowing us to, to do very little feed supplement. I know I'm gonna leave this place better than when I got it. And that, that's not that my my grandpa and my dad did a bad job. They did the best they could in their time, and now I'm, I'm doing the best I can in my time, I guess. There's room for the next generation here when that time comes. So that's another thing that I'm, I'm pretty proud of. If one or any of the kids decides they want to farm, we'll figure out how to make that happen. <laughs>